I'm currently packing for a trip that I'm heading out to, and right now, the destination doesn't matter. Only thing that you should be concerned about is that you look and feel your best. So when I travel, my everyday carry looks like this. I carry two bags, one for clothes and one for accessories. And look, we'll talk about that in a little bit because before even thinking about anything else, you have your non-negotiables. Things that you're gonna carry no matter what you're doing to make sure that you are at your best. First thing I like to carry is deodorant. This is pretty self-explanatory. I refuse to smell bad. Toothbrush and toothpaste. Again, very straightforward. A toiletry bag that carries my skincare products, sunscreen, and a moisturizer. Hair products, mostly because I hate hotel shampoo. Now, the size of these kind of depends on whether you're driving here or you're flying. I've learned my lesson. TSA has made me throw out plenty of things. So if I'm flying beforehand, I go to Amazon or Target. I get these little containers so I could throw in some shampoo or whatever I need in there. Just a way I like to make sure that TSA isn't bugging me too much. Now, once you have these packed, then you can start focusing on on what's really important as a fashion channel of course that's going to be clothes now for the bag that i use i use this ralph lauren duffel bag there's something about leather duffel bags that just makes you look that much better and this one is perfect it's not too big where it's annoying to carry around through the airport but big enough to carry everything that you need sometimes i do have to squish things in there no matter what though i always pack light i just hate carrying around way too much things that makes traveling so annoying so as always the first thing i check is the weather i'm headed out to denver which is extremely cold right now. from what i can tell it's snowing so i have to pack some gear for that first thing i'm carrying are some boots just imagine if i didn't take the time to look at the weather and i wore running shoes my feet would have been freezing and they probably would have been drenched so getting a pair of high quality boots to make sure that my feet stay warm it's definitely gonna help us out for pants i want something thick like some heavy denim now i'm from california so i don't have too much snow gear but i'm making use of what i have and for tops this is pretty easy i do have some high quality jackets that are going to keep me warm but since it is really cold out there the most important thing is layers so you have to pack enough for that and of course it depends on how many days you're staying out there it's a quick trip for me packing light it's gonna be very easy i want some thicker underlayers something like a sweater would be great now again these are your essential clothes i'm not much of a planner i hate following an itinerary but i like to have a general idea of what i'm gonna be doing out there every time i'm in a city i love to go out for dinner i want some nice clothes to make me look good keep me warm while having a nice dinner. So something like some long sleeve polos, some sweaters, ideally something thicker. I'll probably wear this wool sweater. Wool does a great job against the cold. And I'd be lying if I didn't say it looked great. Now, since I like wool in the cold, I'm also gonna be bringing this coat. A puffer jacket like this is absolutely essential. This is one of the best jackets I have for the cold. It would honestly just be dumb of me not to carry this. Every single time I travel, I mostly focus on the tops. And again, since I like packing light, I really only carry two pairs of pants. Something like a heavier weight pair of chinos or these corduroy pants. These are the more thicker pair of pants that I have, as long as they're versatile and keep you comfortable, then you really don't need a bunch of different pairs of pants, especially if they're in a darker color. They're going to go with any top that you might have. So for bottoms, think of versatility for the top. Think about what best is going to suit your situation. Then you could throw in the boring stuff like socks and underwear. This one is pretty straightforward. Now, I know there's some people that love to carry a bunch of different shoes when they go traveling. For me, two or three at very most. The one that I'm carrying, maybe two in my suitcase if they fit. But since this duffel bag isn't the biggest, I'll probably just bring in an extra one. More than likely, going to be going with the Doc Martens. One thing that I've completely forgot about that's still in this bag from last time is the fact that I carry electrolyte packets. Those come in clutch in case I go a little too crazy in the night. Those help with hangovers. Now for this trip, I am flying out there and everybody talks about what they wear to the airport. For me, I want something comfortable. Honestly, I am most comfortable in a hoodie. And if you've been following the channel, you would know that I have been in search for the perfect hoodie for such a long time. And I always love adding new additions. My most recent addition is from today's video sponsor, Kinetic Kings. Kinetic Kings recently dropped their Santa Fe hoodie and it's easily became one of my favorite ones in my collection the lighter color makes it stand out and it's the perfect weight since i'm going to a colder spot i'm gonna be wearing this with layers but back home in california it has been getting a little bit more warm therefore wearing a hoodie by itself is very easy to do but it goes without mentioning that the best part about this hoodie is the design that it has in the back this is way more interesting than every single other hoodie that you see that only has their logo in the back of the hoodie this graphic is not too loud but it's enough to have people interested in your outfit because it's something they don't see every day that's exactly why this this is my new go-to hoodie. It's extremely soft, extremely versatile, and makes you look better than everybody else, which are all ingredients to the best hoodie. I'm gonna be wearing this a lot during my travels, and when I'm back home and it starts to get warmer, I'm gonna be wearing it by itself to make sure people could really see the graph. This is hands down one of the softest hoodies I've ever felt. Extremely comfortable to lounge around in, yet it looks so good that I'm gonna be wearing this pretty much everywhere I go. This is hands down the perfect hoodie for the spring. The drop shoulder gives you a relaxed look, yet it's not too oversized where you can't layer on top of it. So whether I'm wearing it by itself or with a jacket, hands down, this is gonna be one of my favorite pieces to wear. And for reference, I am 5'8", 165 pounds, 
or in a size medium. Now this Santa Fe hoodie came along with a bunch of other graphics that you could check out on the Kinetic Kings website. And if you want to pick up this hoodie for yourself and get your hands on your new favorite hoodie. All right, now that we're done packing the clothes, now it's pretty much the second most important part, what I carry in my backpack. Now there's two categories that I keep in here, accessories and electronics. Again, accessories are mostly what you're going to be doing. I love to carry sunglasses. However, right now that it's snowing out there, probably not going to be wearing sunglasses. So instead I'm going to be carrying stuff like beanies. If you know me, you know, I can't go anywhere without a watch. So I'm going to have some options. Now, either I already have a watch in hand, or I like to carry this watch roll that helps me carry an additional three watches. Or if I just want one extra one, like I said, only going to be out there for a few days. So probably just going to be going with one. I recently picked up a tutor and they threw in this travel case, which is super minimal. Probably just going to end up going with this one. And just for the sake of the video, I am going to be carrying some sunglasses. Now, if I was going somewhere sunny, I want my sunglasses to stand out. These gold frame Ray-Bans are perfect for going to the beach or anywhere sunny. But again, since it's cold out there, let's just go with something in the color black. Now, whether I'm going on a work trip or not, will depend on how many electronics that I'm carrying in this bag. This is going to be a personal travel, so not too many, but I do YouTube full time if that's not obvious enough. So I always carry around my MacBook and of course the little accessories that I use for both of these. This MacBook SD card reader is a lifesaver for me. So I'm always carrying this around in my backpack. Now, one thing that I love is carrying a film camera something about film that I absolutely fell in love with. I don't know if it's because it's vintage. The main thing that gets to me is the fact that I'm not taking a picture, staring at it for the next 10 minutes and thinking oh, I should take another one. With a film camera, I snap one photo, completely forget about it until two weeks later when I'm getting it developed and then I'm seeing it for the first time. If you're interested in seeing some of the film that I take, follow me on Instagram. I post a lot there. Other than that, chargers are also very important. One thing that I picked up recently is a portable charger. This has been an absolute lifesaver. So making sure it's charged, then throwing it in my backpack is an absolute everyday carry essential. Then I have everything that I carry either in my pockets or just on me. Now, if I'm going to the airport, I try not to carry too much. Again, I just hate dealing with TSA. They're nagging on me. It bothers me. So of course I have my phone and because I have an Apple wallet attached to my phone, it makes it very easy when they ask for my ID. But then on the other hand, I also carry my wallet and I've said it plenty of times, but I hate wallets that are way too thick. So the wallet that I carry is a pocket organizer. This is from Louis Vuitton, but there are plenty of affordable alternatives. As long as you're getting one that's slim and not too bulky, you made the right choice. One of my favorite topics is headphones. As much as I love my Sony XM5s, they are not gonna be the ones that I'm carrying. The reason for that is because they are not travel friendly at all. They don't fold up, they're way too big. So as much as I really wanna carry these, I'm not, actually I might. But the best option is gonna be the AirPod Pros. Only issue that I have with these is these dial me pretty quickly. In previous experiences, when you're spending a lot of time at the airport, they might run out of battery, they might die on you. So over the year headphones are my favorite, but for practicality, the AirPod Pros. You also can't forget about smelling good because let's be real, doesn't matter where you go, you always have to smell good. So pick up a small container of fragrance so that way TSA doesn't make you throw it out and you're able to smell good your entire trip. I'm extremely excited to go travel. In fact, this was one of my new year's resolutions. I wanted to go explore more, especially because I recently just turned 21. So traveling is just that much better now. And another one of my new year's resolutions was to create better hobbies. And if you want to know the five hobbies that are going to improve your life in seven days, here's a video that's going to show you exactly that.